Hello children, welcome back to another session of social studies. So in this session we will discuss about latitudes and longitudes. Let's begin. Now we all know that the earth rotates on an imaginary line known as the axis. Now this axis passes through the center of the earth and has got two ends that is the northern end of this axis is called the north pole and the southern end is called the south pole all right now these poles are the fixed points of reference on the earth surface and the other imaginary lines those are latitudes and longitudes they are drawn with respect to these points understood now the imaginary horizontal lines drawn on earth from east to west are the lines of latitudes understood that is the imaginary lines that runs east to west and divides the earth surface into two halves that is northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere understood they are the lines of latitude now all these lines run parallel to each other understood all these latitudes are parallel to each other so this is the reason why they are also called the parallels of latitude or you can also term it as only parallels okay now second one is the imaginary vertical lines drawn on earth from north to south are called the lines of longitude okay and these longitude what divides the earth into two parts that is eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere understood they are also known as the meridians of longitude okay now when these latitude and longitude come together the lines of latitude and longitude form a network of lines called a grid okay now together these latitudes and longitudes help us to locate places on a map accurately understood now the latitudes that we call it as the parallel of latitude now latitude is the angular distance between the equator and any point north or south of it on the surface of the earth angular distance that means from the equator any point on the northern side or any point on the southern side all right so it is the distance that is measured from the equator in the northern area as in the southern area also now these latitudes are measured in degrees degrees means 0 degree 1 degree 2 degree 3 degree like this these are all measured in degrees understood the angle of measurement is formed at the center of the earth so angle of measurement is formed at the center of the earth. who is in the center of the earth that is the equator so from there all the measurement starts next we have all the latitudes are horizontal lines and are parallel to each other they are also called parallels understood the angle of measurement is formed at the center of the earth okay next we have that is the equator now the longest latitude is known as the equator see the first parallel is the equator as we have mm, discussed that everything starts from the equator it is the longest latitude it is considered as the zero degree latitude that is its value is zero degree the equator is the imaginary line that divides the earth into two equal halves that is one is northern hemisphere another is the southern hemisphere now the latitude that run in the northern hemisphere are known as the northern parallels and the latitudes that run in the southern hemisphere are known as southern parallels okay now there are total 90 parallels that run in the northern direction and 
90 parallels that run in the south of the equator okay so there are total 180 parallels okay in the northern side it is denoted by n and in the southern side it is denoted by s okay the latitudes are full circles which keep decreasing in size as they move away from the equator now these are some important parallels of latitude now apart from the equator that is zero degree you need to learn all these important latitudes that is in the northern side we have tropic of cancer that is 23.5 degree north we can also call it 23 and half degree north arctic circle 66.5 degree north north pole 90 degree north and in the southern portion tropic of capricorn that is 23.5 degree south antarctic circle 66.5 degree south and we have south pole that is 90 degree south so these are all the important parallels of latitude that you need to learn and remember okay now apart from the equator there exists some other important latitudes all these things and these latitude help to divide the earth into different zones that we will discuss now now heat zones now as we move away from the equator not only the size of the latitude decreases but also the temperature so as we move near the um, uh, north pole from the equator near the north pole the size of the latitude decreases also the temperature and climate of all the areas starts decreasing that is near the equator it is hot and as we move near the northern side and as we move down in the southern side it starts getting what colder now the equator and the regions near it receive the direct rays of the sun you see the picture here now the sun rays falls directly on the equatorial region understood and in the other portion that is in, uh, as we move further from the equator the sun rays go, comes in slanting position so the regions away from the equator receives the slanting rays of the sun understood now on the basis of the different amount of heat received by the sun the earth has been categorized into three heat zones yes in few areas the sunlight is more all right and in few areas it comes in slanting ways so on the accordance of these the whole earth has been divided into three heat zones or you can call it as the climatic zones all right now what are these three zones one torrid zone that is in the middle this is the yellow portion that is the torrid zone second we have the temperate zone and third that is the frigid zone so we will discuss about it one by one first that is the torrid zone now where does the torrid zone lie this torrid zone lies between the tropic of cancer that is 23.5 degree north and the tropic of capricorn so you can see this red mark in these areas are the tropic uh, these areas comes under the torrid zone that is between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn okay now the word torrid itself means hot that's why this is the hottest zone of the earth now it receives direct sunlight throughout the year that's why this zone is also called the tropical zone now as it is the hottest uh, region in this earth so this zone receives abundant rainfall also and has abundant green plants trees and varied animal life okay so how nice it is now next come up that is the temperate zones now temperate zones are divided into two one is the northern temperate zone another is the southern temperate zone now one is as one is in the northern hemisphere that's why it is northern temperate zone another is the southern hemisphere uh, that is it is southern temperate zone all right now 
the northern temperate zone between that lies between the tropic of cancer that is 23.5 degree north and the arctic circle that is 66.5 degree north it lies in the northern hemisphere and the southern temperate zone that lies between the tropic of capricorn 23.5 degree south and the antarctic circle 66.5 degree south that lies in the southern hemisphere okay now this word temperate itself means moderate temperate means moderate now these zones receive the slanting rays of the sun so that's why the areas are neither too hot nor too cold okay next comes the frigid zone let's see so as the temperate zones we have two the same way we have frigid zones in two parts that is one in the northern hemisphere another in the southern hemisphere the northern frigid zone and the southern frigid zone the northern frigid zone lies between the arctic circle 66.5 degree north and the north pole 90 degree north it lies in the northern hemisphere the same way we have the southern frigid zone that lies between the antarctic circle 66.5 degree south and the south pole that is 90 degree south that is in the southern hemisphere all right now these zones receive extreme slanting rays of the sun so that's why these areas are frozen for most of the year and are the coldest region of the world this tool so these are the coldest region in the world as they receive extreme slanting rays of the sun so That's it we come to end in this session thank you